All those events came to pass just one month later. Were absolutely divine. Thank you. Just as I embraced her, who should enter but Brunitsky, whom I had left a moment before with Madame Binetti. He had clearly followed me in the hopes of picking a quarrel. Seems to me I've come at a bad time. Looks as if you love this lady. Certainly, my lord. Thinks not your excellency her as worthy of love. Oh, quite so. As it happens, I love her too. And I'm not the man to bear any rival. As I know that, I shall love her no more. Then you give her up. With all my heart. For everyone must yield to one as noble as you are. Very good. I call a man that yields a coward. Isn't that a rather strong expression? You Venetian coward. Perhaps a Venetian coward might kill a brave Pole outside the theater. Without awaiting a reply, I left the building by the chief staircase. I waited vainly outside the theater for a quarter of an hour with my sword in my hand. At last, half perishing with cold, I called my carriage and drove to the Palatines, where the king was to summon. 